All right, so we're going to get started here on the astrologer run. Uh, for those of you that if you haven't seen the previous runs yet, this challenge is basically that we have to beat the game. Uh, it doesn't have to be all bosses or anything like that. Just beat the game with the starting gear that you get with whatever class you pick. That does include your keepsake. So in this case, we're rocking the astrologer. So we'll start with a staff, a dagger. We'll get a shield. And for my keepsake, I'm going to choose the fanged imp ashes since... In the previous runs, I chose the talisman because I felt like, you know, I can't get any other talismans for the run. So having the extra health was actually pretty nice. But I'm going to go with the Fanged Imp Ashes on my Astrologer build. So obviously, I don't start with the bell, but I am going to allow myself to take the bell since it's, you know, my keepsake is the ashes. So I can't pick up any other, like no other um, ashes, though. Like the Fanged Imp ones are the only ones that I'm allowed to use. I may get my bell from Ronnie, though, so I'm going to get the wolf ashes, but I'm not allowed to use them, okay? I can only use the fanged imp ashes. I am allowed to upgrade any of the things that I start with, so technically I could upgrade the fanged imp ashes if I wanted to. Uh, I can upgrade the shield, I can upgrade the dagger, the staff, I can level up my character. Uh, all of those things are permitted. I cannot get different things, though. I can't get a different staff, I can't get a different dagger, I can't get a new shield other ashes none of that is allowed has to be done within the items that you start with when you wake up at the stranded graveyard so obviously that means i can upgrade my flask as well uh this is also a region lock run as well so um in, in terms of the progression of the game i'm also not allowed to just like rush altus at the beginning of the game and be like level 40 before i even touch anything i have to go from Limgrave and Weeping Peninsula, that's the starting two zones that I'm allowed to be in, I have to kill the Remembrance boss before I can move on to another zone. Now, I can go to any zone that doesn't have a Remembrance boss as long as I don't have to cross through a Remembrance zone to get there, right? So, in the case of, like, you know, like, Godric dies, right? So now I'm no longer locked to Liurnia. I can go to either Kaelid or Liurnia, or sorry, no longer locked to Limgrave. I can either go to Kaelid or Liurnia, but when I go to Kaelid or when I go to Liurnia, one or the other, um, I can go back to any region that I've already been in. I can go to any region that doesn't have a Remembrance boss that's that I have available just naturally in the game. But I can't go to Kaelid before I finish Liurnia or vice versa. And the lock will then be removed, of course, when that boss, respectively for that area, dies. And then I can pick a new area to pursue. Again... Any percent, I don't have to kill all the bosses. Uh, for this particular challenge, I'm probably not going to be worried about Mogur Melania too much. Uh, so we're just going to be doing the any percent equivalent of just trying to beat it with the starting gear. So, uh, And I, I think with Astrologer, we're actually going to be pretty OP uh, pretty early in the run. I, I thought that maybe Bandit would have been easier than Astrologer because it's a bleed build. But um, since we're taking the Fang to Imp Ashes and we can upgrade that, uh, I'm, pretty <laughs> I'm pretty sure that um this might actually end up being the easiest one <laughs> to be completely honest so uh we'll have to see though uh we actually don't get to just like pick up grave glove wart in in mass at the beginning of the run so we'll be leveling the uh we'll be leveling the ashes throughout the run we won't be able to just like get them to plus 10 before we do anything so there will be some progression involved with that but um yeah without further ado i don't think there's any other rules uh oh one other thing, it's not super applicable to astrologers since we don't have to worry about arrows or anything like that, but um, any consumables that you start with as a general rule of thumb for these challenges are allowed to be replenished. So if I had started with arrows or something, I'm allowed to craft or buy more arrows of the type that I started with. So when I did the samurai run, I was allowed to craft or buy fire and regular arrows. And for the bandit run, I was allowed to do any version of the bone arrow. But Aside from that, um, I'm not allowed to change or remove armor. I can't even remove any of the armor that I start equipped with. I have to keep all of it equipped at all times. If I want to light roll, if I don't start light rolling, I have to upgrade endurance as part of my stats. Uh, no talismans. Any talismans are banned unless I start with it as my keepsake. And um, that's that's pretty much the run. I think we covered everything. So yes, I can level up my character, can level up flasks, can level up any of the stuff that I start with. Uh, oh, the last thing is I am allowed to respec as well. So if my stats aren't working out the way that I want, I am allowed to go get a larval tier. Obviously, region lock restrictions apply uh, if I do have to walk into a region that has a remembrance boss in it. Uh, but aside from that, everything else is, is fair game. So kill the bosses. 
Don't uh, don't uh, change or remove armor or anything like that. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Straight sword might be able to remove until you beat Leonia and get respect. Maybe. Astrologer starts off with some good stats, though, so... We get Glintstone, Pebble, and Glintstone Arc. Also, I should say, since Astrologer is our starting class, we cannot pick any up, uh, up any other spells. We have to use the spells that we start with, which, I mean, let's be honest, Glintstone Pebble is, like, arguably one of the... <laughs> arguably one of the best spells in the game. It's, it's pretty... It's pretty solid. I cannot change Ashes of War either. I forgot to mention that, too. I'm dead. It was worth a try. We like we always like to give the Scion a try at the beginning of the run. It's like my when I'm not speed running, that's like my go-to thing is I'm like, you know what? Let's let's square up, you know? They nerf Pebble and it's still bro yeah. It's still pretty broken. So my plan here with Astrologer, by the way. <laughs> I know I don't have to grab this but I do anyway, okay? I like to do it anyway. Uh, I am going to move some of this stuff to make it to where it's not on my bars, like, randomly. I'm going to move imps off. That looks pretty good. All right, so my strategy with Astrologer, right? I need I need a lot of mana very, very, very early in this run because of Renala. And because of the fact that I took the Imp Ash for this, I think, I think we're going to try to leverage some bleed pretty early in the run as well since the imps do use bleed weapons and i can definitely get away with that as well because of the fact that as an astrologer like there's not going to be a lot of times when i really need to be up close so I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be able to get a pretty strong build pretty early with Astrologer that leverages, you know, upgrading the flask pretty early to where I can, you know, I can maintain a certain degree of mind, right? And I'm probably, if I'm being honest, I'm probably just gonna pump Int, Vigor, and Mind. And that's it. I don't really have a need to, to drive stats into anything else, to be frank. So, we should be able to get into a position pretty early on. I, I'd say by the time Godric dies, we're not going to have to worry about whether we have enough mana because our flasks are going to be covering most of that for us. But Liurnia is definitely looking to be one of the more challenging aspects of the run. And I probably will still do Kaelid after that. Because I'm pretty confident that we're going to be OP. <laughs> I'm pretty confident we're going to be OP regardless of whether we do Radon early or not. Pretty confident. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the run, uh, starting out 
we are only able to go into... Uh, obviously, we start in Limgrave, and we're allowed to go to Weeping Peninsula as well, since there is not a Remembrance boss there. And it is also the only area connected to Liurnia that we can really go anyway. Because of the fact... Uh, that, you know, we haven't opened up the map or anything yet, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the grace to the Castle Word Tunnel. So I don't have to worry about that. And then we'll go start going through and collecting our, uh, our golden seeds as per tradition at the beginning of these challenge runs. Now we're going to go back to the shack. We're going to open up the grace on this side. Can't use those arrows. I don't anticipate needing any consumables. So we're gonna... We're gonna pass on... Worrying about the, uh... The bell bearing from that guy. Specifically as that pertains to, uh... The what is he called? The the bell bearing hunter guy? That yeah, that guy. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the first step from here. So that we can hit up the church, or not the church, the um South Aguil Lake and head into weeping so that we can get our supplies, you know. And I think for our upgrade path, I'm going to try and use some runes early on to make it so that I've got some health. I think, honestly, like 20 Vigor is probably pretty good for Astrologer for the early game. And I'll probably still pursue 50... I'll probably still pursue 50. Maybe 40. Not 100% sure on that yet. But somewhere in that range. Um, shortly thereafter. Probably as we get closer to like Fire Giant. Should be a graveyard around here somewhere. There it is. So here's the spirit spring. I suppose I can go ahead and take care of this part now since I'm over here. It is uh, rather convenient, I'll say, to just go ahead and get the Dectus plate while we're over here. And there's a golden seed as well that we can get. And then I, I guess we could also then head up towards the third church and Kenneth Height.
the one thing that I need to make sure I I don't forget to do before Margaret is actually like go through and take care of leveling up my stuff. But yeah, I mean, we'll probably use the short, short sword a little bit for Renala. I mean, she's definitely resistant to the glintstone stuff. And by the time we get to Renala, we should already have a plus 12 uh, sword as well. So I'm pretty confident we'll get some good value out of it at the very least. I don't, I don't uh, foresee us having too many issues. I actually kind of want to run out this way instead of teleport because I'm already pretty close to the third church. And I think I want to just go ahead and head there from where I'm at now. I think I can just drop here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are not allowed the physic, by the way. If you guys haven't checked out any of my previous endeavors with this challenge of starting equipment. We don't start with the physic, so we're not allowed to do anything with it. I forget, does this guy have smithing stones? I don't know. He does. He actually has three smithing stone ones. So let me go ahead run back over to the fort over here so I can grab the grace. I want to be nice and close for when it comes time to buy smithing stones. I don't like the idea of having to run through caves and stuff to get my smithing stones, so... I much prefer just buying them, even though it costs runes, obviously. I much prefer just... But you know what I could have done? I literally could have just... <laughs> Literally could have just done this. Like, oh hey, now guess what? I have enough money. <laughs> I have enough money to buy them, so. Oh, nice Alright. For real though. We're heading up to the third church. In Kenneth Heights area. What this is? What is that? These bones. Meh. Church should just be down the road here. This is where we're going to get our first sacred tier that we're going to need to upgrade the flask with. All right, and then we're going to head back to a Gill Lake South. That's the way that we're going to take to get into Weeping so that we can grab... I believe it is... three Sacred Tears and... What is it? Three Sacred Tears? There's at least one Golden Seed. Maybe two. I think it's just one. We are in Weeping. First tier is right up here. Gotta climb 
climb a little hill up here and it's right atop said hill and then we'll go for we'll go for the second tier after that which is just a little further south Number one. Two's just this way. So one thing that gets me, y'all, about these freaking... About these things is the uh, the setup time is a bit crazy, just a wee bit crazy. Good. We're gonna head back to the Church of Pilgrimage. That puts us a little closer to where we're going for the next tier and the golden seed. We gotta head downhill. There is a spirit spring just there. Then we're basically just going to go up the cliffside here, which will put us on the road towards Castle Morn, where we will find a few things. A grace, a merchant, a golden seed, and a sacred cube. It's actually a lot of stuff over here. It's like super easy to forget that there's that much stuff over here. Because weeping is one of those areas that it's actually incredibly low level. I would actually argue that Weeping Peninsula is almost lower level than Limgrave is. But... What I forgot to do was go get the Golden Seed from Kenneth Height. I need to, to make sure that that happens. Alright, and he's got... I need a thousand runes. Good. And then we're going to pick up the golden seed. Then we're going to double back, scale up the side of this cliff, and the sacred tier is up top. We are and basically just need to uh get to a point where the aggro drops off 
And now we're headed to the Saints Bridge, which is where we're going to get our other smithing stones. And I guess since we're here, uh, Kenneth Height is over here as well. So we can hit up the other graveyard that is over here. Alright, I need 600. Perfect. And we're heading down this way to go get... There's some more runes that are sitting... in a graveyard, and then there's also... the golden seed that we can get. that's here so all right we're gonna go take care of our friend Is anybody there? mr kenneth height someone who might be interested in rescuing the great kenneth height all right Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false oh. gracious fight Where is he? Wait. Where's this dead body? Did he not die from the fall? Where the heck is he? I don't see him. He might have respawned back up top. Hold on. Sometimes that happens. Like, I, I kicked him. You're not telling me he landed on the tree, right? If this guy landed on the tree, dude... Like, there's no way, right? There it is. Okay. Huh. Man, that had me nervous. I'm like, uh, you're not about to deny me. <laughs> you're not about to deny me my thing, right? All right. So the last thing that I got to do is get the bell from Ronnie since I did pick the fanged imp ash. It is a summon there, the spirit now it is the Okay. Now we're gonna get rid of the wolf ash because obviously I don't need that. And at this point we should be good. You know what I probably should do, though? I should probably upgrade this flask before... I always forget to do this. Every time... Every time that we get started on the bosses, I'm always like, you know what? Like, And then I forget to upgrade the thing. There we go. And then I probably, as well, I should probably go ahead and... Start putting some FP flasks in, right? Probably a good idea. And the fanged imps are about to do some work, dog. Warrior blood must 
don't think Margaret is going to be too much of a problem here, y'all. Yeah, the fanged imps are doing work with the bleed, y'all. Nice. Good job, imps. Good job, fanged imps. Yo. Yo, why didn't I go with the imps on my other characters, man? No, I'm just kidding. I, I do think, uh... I do think that it is fun to, like, do something a little different, though, you know? This is the first run where I haven't died to Margit. Uh, <laughs> on the first try. <laughs> uh. Got the one shot, dude. To see whether and it seems torrent, whereas I'm there is, but I can take gathering very well at my hand. Now, I'm probably, I'm probably going to have to think a little bit about what my game plan is for Renala. You know, Matt, how do you... how, what, what's the cost on upgrades? Honestly, the cost isn't bad, but I actually think leveling mind is better in the early game than anything else. I think getting to a point where I've just got like a metric shitload of mind, I think the earlier I reach that point, the better it is all around. Because while I'm not going to have a shortage of flasks or anything like that, Yeah, while, while I definitely don't want to have, you know, a shortage of anything, I, I do think mind is the play at the beginning. Making sure that I have enough to be able to cast spells. And I think I'm going to target Vigor next. I want to have 20. So I, I think like 25 mind, 25 Vigor is a great starting point. And then I'll worry about spending runes on upgrading weapons and stuff, because it, I know that I'm going to be able to kill Godric with little to no effort. Renala is the one that's the big question, and I'd rather kind of see how that's going to play out before I commit to... Before I commit to anything, you know? would much rather see how it is going to play out first. Now, I'm pretty sure that the imps are just going to go in there and just absolutely demolish. But obviously, I don't want to assume something is going to happen. And then it doesn't play out that way. And then I'm like, well, shit. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance that, that the imps will stun lock her for sure. Very true. But, I mean, I don't, I don't think Godric will be a challenge... We'll be able to pump some vigor after he dies, and then once I've got about 220 mind, that's when I will focus on pumping int. 
and Vigor, but I, I'm probably just going to go 20 Vigor for starters. I think 20 is, like, right where I need to be. I'm going to bait the attack so that the imps can get in. Dude, my abs didn't get a single bleed proc, man. That's savage. I don't want to... I don't want to go too crazy here. Because I want to save... Oh god! That's unfortunate. So I was hoping, I didn't realize that jumping into the axe, I mean, I, I should have known better, but I just assumed that jumping into the axe was okay because it was a ground attack, but nope. Touching the axe also hurts very bad. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hopefully the imps will last longer than two seconds this time. God damn it, man. Fucking Godfrey, man. No, I, I'm i being stupid, dude. I'm being really stupid about how... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the imps for phase two. I feel like that makes more sense. 
Because they're just dying way too fast. And I can I can do phase one without having to worry about the stupid fire shit. It might have been dumb to try and summon them right here, but... Yeah, that might have been dumb. It's fine. That's so dumb. So easy to get stuck on shit. Ah. Uh, fucking dragon, bro. Whoa! Uh, how did he end up over here? Kill me. Okay. All right. yeah. That was close. That was close. You got him. That my my spells actually did a little less damage to him than I thought they would. So it is what it is. This is why, like I said, though, like we need to really get to a point where this is effective, though. We got a little health now, which is good. All right, we're gonna just go straight into Liernia. I want to get my flask upgrades. I want to get my golden seeds. I want to get literally everything I can. I want a game. Yeah, no, the imps, uh, the imps are gonna be pretty useful. And since I started with it, it's like technically gear that I started with, I'm allowed to upgrade them. Like, I'm fully expecting that these imps are gonna really, really put, uh, piece together some good stuff throughout this run. This, this may end up being the easiest one, even easier than Samurai, maybe. Maybe. I don't wanna I don't wanna count my chickens yet. Renala is gonna be a bit challenging. She's gonna be a little bit challenging. Am 
I doing a road to RE4? Nah, probably not. That 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 road to village series was like that was insanely exhausting leading up to village. Honestly, I'll probably that's probably the only time I'll ever do that. That is probably the most I've done like ever. In like a short period of time, content-wise, and it was very exhausting. Take the smithing stones. Why not? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for twenty vigor. I'm pretty happy with where mind is at at the moment. Pretty happy with that. When does RE4 come out? 24th. We are T minus three weeks. quick things I need to grab by the way uh, Bobby beans what is up buddy I don't I don't remember saying hello to you I know I saw your message earlier um, but I might have been I might have been in ADHD brain mode and I apologize um, I do need to take a, a short break by the way uh, soon just for a couple minutes because I need to place an order for something After I get um, everything done, but like before we do Renala, that's when I'll go ahead and take the break. Obviously, we still have a little bit we got to do. Yeah, very soon, Dave. Very soon. I'm excited. I, I definitely want to enjoy Elden Ring a little bit more, though. Like, I've, I've genuinely missed playing Elden Ring. So I definitely want to enjoy that for a bit longer, but... I am definitely planning on going pretty nuts on RE4, so it's going to be pretty lit. How much is a level right now? 4,000? I think I'll have enough for 20 bigger. I think I'll have enough. I hope so. Uh, yeah, Dave, I know. I, I am planning on doing that. I'm going to be hitting up the gazebos over here, the graveyards, and uh, popping the balloons. I haven't felt like I've needed to get the ones on the eastern side of the Lyurnia Highway, but... I've been getting the ones over here because there's actually quite a few of them.
That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and pop some balloons. Uh, there are two gazebos that I need to get to. Actually, no, I think it's just one. Just kidding. Go grab this gazebo real quick. Watch out for the lobsters, dude. Eat them smithing stones, dog. I'll be out of your way. Let's pop some balloons. Should be able to get them the flint stone pebble. I'm gonna have to get a little closer than with the bow, though. It's the only thing that kinda sucks. There's a little bit of risk involved, but it's not bad. The marionettes usually don't uh, wake up in time. I'm usually, like, long gone by then. Design those lobsters as a big troll. Yeah. Indeed. Looking good. Alright, we're gonna go up to the King's Realm Ruins. This guy. And we're going up here because we need to get our hands on. Golden Seed. Which exists uh, up here. Remember the item over here? Is this smithing stones over here? I don't actually remember what's under the uh, altar. Yeah, it is. Okay. I, I, I was gonna say I thought it was, but I honestly couldn't remember. do have the academy key, so we can head out to the academy once all is said and done. Going to the south gate now. We're heading into the academy. Uh, we need we're going to get a golden seed here. 
another golden seed on the other side of the teleporter over here. And then there's another seed, two more seeds, technically. And a stone sword key so that we can go into the uh, hero's grave in a little bit and get enough stuff to upgrade our flask again. Flask count is something that I definitely feel like I'm going to want to invest in long term. And getting that done early just makes it so that I don't have to scale int right away. And I'm definitely going to want to scale int eventually, but I don't think it's as important right away to do so. So let's go to the Bellum Church and grab the Golden Seed right next to it. And then we also should grab the Grace here, too, so we can get the uh, Smithing Stone Bell Bearing. Here is the church. It's also the closest grace to where we're going right now. Well, okay. we're, we are going to actually go up to the deck just lifted uh, like here pretty soon, but we're going to grab that because it's the closest one right now. And when we're done with our little adventure down here to grab the golden seed, we're going to head back. So we don't have to run all the way back. Use the fast travel. And I've, I've been just grabbing the grace over here because it seems like it's a pretty good way to just get these enemies to fuck off. Let's go get our bell bearing. Actually, bellum church. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go Bellum Church, and then... Oh, that was close. We'll grab our Dectus. Grace. Go up to the Church of Inhibition. There's a stone sword key up there that I want as well. Looking good on the stones too. We'll have enough stone sword keys to open up the hero's grave. Gaming, y'all. We are gaming. I'm hoping that I don't get stuck in this playthrough like I did on my last two. I don't think I'm a I am, to be honest. Like, it's been... It's been pretty chill. For the most part.
Madness. Madness. Yeah, I think I think once we get past Renala, I'm thinking that we should be through the worst of it, hopefully. All right, we're going to grab the stone sword key. This is like the customary stone sword key that I like to grab because it's pretty much on the way to getting the other stuff that we're trying to get, so. Finish it. I prefer to just let him kill me because I feel like he is um, more of a just a nuisance than anything else. All right, uh, let's just real quick. 20 vigor. And then we're going to go back to the shack. Because there's a stone sword key and a golden seed waiting for us there. Then we're going to go to the Stranded Graveyard and we'll grab the Golden Seed from in there. Normally I fight these ulcerated tree spirits at a higher level, but I'm like, you know what? I like the idea of switching things up and doing this early. This is also a super low level dungeon too. Should be a breeze compared to Bandit. I think I think so too. I mean, I'm hopeful at least that it is a breeze by comparison. Very hopeful. Fuck was that, dude? Ah, oh, savage! Absolutely savage. Well, give me a second, y'all. Give me just a second. We've got the steak of America. Just doing the whole thing with only pebble and arc. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, we're just doing pebble and arc. Don't you worry.
Oh, shit. Oh, that's bullshit. Dog! No! I mean, we can definitely do this, but this fight's kind of troll. Might be coming here just a smidge early, but I, I want the I want the golden seed a little earlier than what <laughs> when I've been getting it. Wow. Wow. Cool. It's a load of shit, man. Yeah, I'm definitely a little low to be doing this part. I don't, I don't have enough int scaling yet, but you know what? I want to try something. That's also 84. Am I in the thing? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, that's dead. Alright, I think what I need to summon the imps is going to be... I think what I need to summon the imps is in the, uh... Like at the end of his first attack. What? Dude, that fucking tail is so cheap, dude. That tail is so fucking cheap, man. I wish my imps were just a little more hyper-aggressive. That would be nice. And they're about to get fucking melted before they can even do anything. really rather not have the imps throwing magical potions. I want them to fucking slash and bleed this motherfucker. Dude, that's so dumb.
Dude, can you like not do the same attack like 50,000 times in a row? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm kind of forced into melee range for this fight, but I mean, I, I guess I could try staying at range and see what he does. What? Dude, he did a full fucking 360, man. What the fuck is that shit? Oh. Jesus. Hello? Give me a second, Chief. So fucking dumb, man. Pretty sure by the time I even saw that attack, I was, uh... Uh, yeah, well, it's... I don't think that it, they intended to hide Elden Ring content in DS3, but... There is a lot of theories that this and the Puss of Man are very closely related. smacking me with his head. So fucking stupid, man. <laughs> Whatever, I'll come back to this later. I have to get that order placed real quick, so give me one second, guys. I'm gonna be right here, I just... I don't want to forget about it. Let's get back into some Elden Ring Chief. Didn't last very long. I forgot the bleed proc, that's nice. Oh 
Oh no, I wasted one. Shit. That was dumb. Kill him! Die! Goodbye. We did it! Not that my, uh... Not that my team helped me very much with these, uh, imps or whatever, dude. That was a little bullshit, but you know, aside from that, it's, it's all right. Worked out decently enough. All right, why is the app still downloading? Why is this taking so long? I don't understand. Just download the app, dude. I wonder if Domino's is just having a problem today. Maybe they're just maybe they're just not having a good day. You know, I mean, I feel like it happens. You know, sometimes you just. You know. Sometimes you just don't have the best of days, you know? Yeesh. but like for whatever reason it is just straight up not letting me download this app I'm genuinely curious if they're just having some problems today I don't know I'm restarting my phone just in case it happens to be an issue with my phone I feel like that would be a very haze blade thing Be a very haze blade thing to happen. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure the app probably works, but um, I can't even download it. That's the problem. Oh no! Oh no! Don't you dare.
gonna have to deal with the crystallion that's in here. But honestly, this crystallion is gonna gonna have a good day. I can already tell. Gonna beat the hell out of it with a shield. That's what we're gonna do. It's interesting. The poor guy. The poor guy doesn't stand a chance. stood a chance dude he never stood a chance all right we'll got that bell bearing so let's see what we can do about getting the staff upgraded in the sword i think i've got a glove wart to upgrade the imps too uh let's see bell bearing there you go I need six of these. I need nine of these. Got plenty of runes too if I end up needing to uh, sell any. There blows off a chat by the well. Two thousand? I, I feel like that'll be enough. Guess we'll. All right. Then the other question is, you know, I've got these, um, I've got these ten smithing stone threes, but I know that Renala is not going to be a factor right now using the astrologer staff. So I'm actually gonna go for upgrading the short sword here. And I suppose what I could do is I could take the astrologer staff to seven, and then we just use the rest later. I feel like that makes the most sense. And since we do have the fanged imp ashes, back no matter. She's crazy. She has a sword in her eye. It's all a bit. I'm still looking. Your dad, I don't believe. If I do, I suppose I'll ask him. Certainly, I know he's. I can tell. So. Back no matter. The girl. Why you have food? Absurd. I refuse. I don't. All right, and then I think I picked up a. I think I picked up a ghost glove wart. So or a grave grave glove wart. I think I picked one up, so I can upgrade these imps a little bit too. Good. I have you to. I can have I'm as yet. But and if they well, I certainly body re. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh 
Right. I mean, I'd say at this point, we're probably pretty well on our way here. And I think we got basically everything that I can get going into Renala at this point. I mean, I could go get Glove Wart. Oh, gosh. Uh, two, three, and four, I think. I think maybe it's two, three, and four. Go ahead and how many seeds do I have? I think we got three. Ha! Huh. Jeez. Oh. Well, I'm going to make my way. up to the red wolf. The red wolf. I'm pretty sure that these imps are also going to melt this dude. Fucker keeps jumping around. I can't can't get a good uh, landing on him. I mean, he's taking damage. But it's it's a little slower than I would like. Like that's bullshit. 
Literally got the fucking gang bang, bud. Yeah, I don't know why. It's literally not installing the app. I, I don't know what's going on. It's like my phone just doesn't want to install anything. And I don't think I'm out of room either. Ugh, this is frustrating. Hold on one second, you guys. Give me, give me, I just need to take a short break. I'll be right back. Uh, well, let's carry on. <coughs> getting the, yeah, the, yeah, that's the true boss is getting this fucking pizza delivery, man. Now, uh, real talk. Um, I am actually doing a sponsored bit for Domino's today. Um, and they, they are having me, like, order specific items from their menu. And when it, the food gets here, we're going to take a short break from Elden Ring so I can do my sponsored bit. I'm trying out their loaded tots today, y'all. I am so good at wasting flasks, man. The problem with this stupid boss is that he's constantly dodging my pebbles. So I'm thinking that my my bet best bet here might actually just be to use the sword. I mean obviously we're gonna use the ends. Okay, how did that hit me? That was dumb. Wow, that actually hits harder than the magic does anyway. So yeah, I want to get like 220 in the uh, mind department, so that way it puts me at like max FP restoration when I get to that stage with that stuff. Um, otherwise, I'd say we're in pretty good shape. Uh, there is a golden seed over here that I need to get, and also, not that I feel like I'm going to need this stone sword key, but just in case.
Yeah, yeah, the sword actually worked pretty well. Bro. He Mario'd me, dude. Man, shit. I got Mario'd to death, dude. That is highly, highly unfortunate. Sag. <laughs> now that's how to do it right there, Chief. That's how to do it. I'm obviously going to save the... Imps for phase two. Just gonna clobber Renala in phase one with that looks good. We should do some good damage with plus seven. Taking fucking forever to summon these guys. Jeez, dude. Right, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that these summons don't get absolutely bodied. Alright, this is good. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. comes for me. It is very nice. Get in there, imps. Get the job done, dude. Don't let the Bloodhound Knight kill me. Nice. Yo, the imps? Dude, at plus one, the imps freaking... 
Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I was a little worried about this fight, but I, I forgot that the short sword is pretty goaded for, uh, for Astrologer in the clutch moments when magic is not really much of an option. So I'm glad that we took the time to level that up. And I'm also glad we picked the Imp Ashes too, because the Imp Ashes definitely made that substantially easier. And I'm honestly, I'm probably not even gonna like worry too much about upgrading the Imps unless it deems itself like absolutely necessary at a point. I do kind of want to go into some intelligence, though. I know I want more mind, but I can't really do much more with my flasks right now at plus seven. So I am going to go ahead and pump a little bit of intelligence because I want to start working towards that. So our next move is that we're going to have to go to Kaled. To be born anew. All right, we are gonna region lock ourselves to Kaled because we need a Dectus medallion. We could totally do Volcano Manor, but we're totally not gonna do Volcano Manor because Volcano Manor does not have as much good shit as Kaled does. So, We also have the potential to become pretty OP at a point as well. Now here's what I am going to say. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that Grail is not going to be much of an option. Unless the imps can bleed him. Because I am not going to spam R1 on Grail for 30 minutes. No, Volcano Manor is not necessary at all. But we do need... Well, so... Technically, we only need two great runes, but Volcano Manor is the only alternative way to get into the capital. From a region lock perspective, we could do Volcano Manor, but we'd have to kill Rykard. Okay, no, we should be okay.
No! I greeted. I greeted on the roll. It was my fault. My fault. Shitty. What about magic damage? Just, just curious. One oh four. I'm gonna just one hand the sword. The two hand is just a little too slow. What's this boss needed for? A shitload of runes in the early game. You get 91k. And it's a very easy boss to kill. Well, I say easy and then I fucking get roll caught, but, you know, it's cool. Stomp is really fucking catching me. Super fucking bad, dude. I need to be able to survive a hit. And the problem is I can't survive. I'll come back. Now nah, the imps aren't good on this fight. They get one shot. This is, I think, minus the snow field, it is the highest level Erd Tree Avatar. So it's it's very easy to get kind of fucked by it. You need, I think, 30 Vigor maybe to survive a hit, somewhere in that range. It's fine. I'm gonna see if I can summon them for Grail. If the Imps can, can kill Grail, then that's fine. I don't know if they can, though. Oh shit, they do work, okay. 
That is very interesting. I have an idea for that. You guys are going to have to wait. I, I have an idea for how that's going to play out in a way that is going to be some good content. So just bear, bear with me on that. Uh, I don't I actually don't need to go that way. Let me let me test and make sure that they actually hit him first before I commit to this being my idea for later. Give me a second. Let me just see if they go for it. Get in there. Are they gonna do it? Come on, get in there. I don't know if they're gonna do it. Maybe I need to go further down? I don't know. Looks like they're trying to attack. Right, hold on. Oh, hold on. Imps, over here. Imps, over here. Maybe, maybe I need to go. Come on, y'all, get in there. All right. They're actually being pretty dumb at the moment. He's right here, you guys. Come over here. You guys are in melee range. Come on. Let's go, dude. doing dudes yo they are high they're high Well, guys, I don't think that this is going to work. <laughs> they are dumber than a box of rocks, and they just, for whatever reason, don't see that as, like, a target. I don't know. I don't even know what to tell you. 
The whole concept makes no sense. See if they do any work. Come on, his face is right there, dude. Get in there, son. Where are you going? Chat, where are they going? They are going to get themselves killed. By the legion of dragons out front. Cool. Well, alright. Grail is not an option for astrologer then. Oh boy. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, I was hoping to be hella OP. Going into Radon, you know? Man, shit. Alright, well, we're gonna have to kill the Erdtree Avatar then. I just can't greed. Dude, I was, I was so excited, too. I was so excited that the Imp Summons worked, man. I was straight up about to dance, man. Straight up. Let me go back to two-handing since I'm only going to do two attacks now. Let me go back to two-handing and see if the timing will be a little bit better if I don't greed that way. Hello? Hey! No! My controller died. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that's savage. That is absolutely savage, dude. The controller death. 
absolutely savage, man. It's going so well. Oh. Hmm, it's like I think maybe the pizza guy's here. Maybe he's here. Yep. All right, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, for real, I'm back this time. Sorry, I, I've been taking a lot of breaks today. Been taking a lot, but yeah, we got we got loaded tots upstairs. We got I refilled my coffee while I was up there too, because I was like, you know what? <clears throat> you know what? By the way, guys, I know I kind of surprised you with that sponsor stream today, um, or with the with the uh, sponsored segment rather. But um, I I do want you guys to know. That there is more where that came from. Uh, I have a lot of sponsors lined up in the near future now that I have access to the bounty boards. There is a lot more where that came from. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I just, I, I like not having to put the pressure on the community to like subscribe to the channel and stuff like that. I like. I like putting brands to work instead of putting you guys to work to pay my livelihood, so. And I was just talking to my fiance upstairs. We were actually really impressed with Domino's. Like, um, there, oh my gosh, we placed that order and it was here in like 20 minutes. Like that was probably the fastest. That was probably the fastest I have ever gotten my food and it was hot, it was fresh. like. That is, that is probably the fastest I have ever gotten fast food delivered to my house. My fiance felt the same way. She thought that it was, it was very good. We ordered a, a pizza as well, but they didn't want me to show the pizza on the stream. They just wanted, the, the tots were new, so they wanted me to, they wanted me to show the new product, but yeah, we ordered a pizza too. Also, kittens, what's up, dude? I believe you killed this boss uh, today as well to get your 90k runes, right?
Uh, oh, I can't see. all here. Two hits and that's it. Sometimes I have time for a third hit. Other times I do not have time for a third hit. So I'm not even going to take the chance. Like I have nothing to prove here, you know? Like right there, if I would have taken the third hit, I would have been dead. Very nice. Give me my 90k. Let's go, ho oh, ho, dude. All right. Well, here's the deal. I gotta square up against my chief Radon here, buddy. And, uh, I got enough for, like, really, like, what is that? Eight levels? Because I have enough runes in my bags. I think I'm gonna pump Vigor. I'd really like to be at 30, you know? But we, we gotta get Radon down. And since I can't kill Grail because his fucking... My imps are stupid... What I can do, though, we can make our way over to the Church of the Plague. Could kill him if I keep hitting him for a few hours. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not doing that, though. No shot. No shot on that one dog. All right. Yeah, exactly. I would have gotten a lot more runes just playing the game. Like a normal chief.
Should have set a macro to spam R1 while eating the toss. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done I could have done that. Right, we are gonna have to come down into here into Celia because uh there is a golden seed that we can grab. Get bleed affinity eventually. Uh, not in this playthrough, I won't, because I'm not allowed to get any new spells as part of the challenge. I'm gonna head into Celia Crystal Tunnel. I I'm actually tempted to see. I'm not gonna try to kill the Falling Star Beast because. I don't think I'm high enough level, honestly, to contend with that right now, but I will open up the tunnel because I do think that it's it's probably worthwhile at a certain point. Uh, I mean, changing the weapon affinity. Yeah, I can't do that in this run. Um, I'm, I'm not allowing myself to change my weapons. I can't change the Ash of War that comes with the weapons. I have to beat the game in the starter equipment as it is when I load into the game. The only exception, thought I put bleed on the bandit weapon. Uh, we're not playing bandit anymore, actually. We beat the game as bandit and we are moving on to astrologer now. But that that weapon starts with bleed, actually. Some people don't know that, but. Yeah, so we, we've already beat the game as bandit. So we have moved on to another class, because I'm going to be doing this challenge with every class in the game. So now that we've done Samurai and Bandit, we are moving on to Astrologer. I'm probably going to do Profit after this one. Maybe while I'm working on this project, I'll make like a uh, exclamation point rules command for tomorrow, just so that way people can. Take a sneak peek. believe we've gotten everything that we can get in Kaled. So now we have to uh, go deal with Mr. Radon before we can move forward. So <clears throat> let go. Skip was so nice. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. I don't know if it's really worth uh, summoning the imps. To be honest.
Mm, all right, so I got to think about the damage a little bit here. I'm actually wondering if maybe for Radon, it's better to just use the sword. Because he is a very, like, I'm going to get up in your face and get the job done kind of boss. So I'm thinking that the sword might actually be better. Yeah, I'm thinking thinking that might be the move. But I do think I might need to allocate my flasks better so that I can heal whenever I take damage. So I'm going to have to do the skip again. Sag. Not that that's a big deal like at all, but a lot in the summons. Uh, yeah, so I'm allowed to use the summon that I started with. Now, okay, so other question that I have. So I'm plus eight. Which means I would need like four smithing stone three. Oh, no, no, no. Not the ones in the field now. Not allowed to use those. I want to check something. I don't want to see if I can get I'll check something real quick back in Liernia.
Eastern Lyernia Lake Shore. I need four total, and I know that there are a lot out here. I want to just upgrade this sword a little bit more because my stats are low against Radon. Just a little low. A smidge. I could get this sword to like plus 10 with the stones that I have right now. Oh uh, yeah, I did salmon samurai for my first run. All right, there's some good smithing stones. And I know where I can get another one, too. I'm going to grab the grace over here so I can reset the AI. So there's another one over here, actually, like right by where this flame chariot is. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's around here somewhere. I think it's this one. Yep. All right. So that'll be that'll be a few levels up to the sword. I should be able to take it to ten or eleven. Ten, I think. It definitely sucks that uh I can't kill Grail, but Definitely not a deal breaker. I didn't want me to just lay out you. Good. Just also out of curious, what about Smithing Stone Four? I wonder if there's any in like the Liernia area, generally speaking. This should be fine. Fuck, you know, I forgot to do. <laughs> I forgot to allocate the flasks again. I think it's funny that I'm playing Astrologer, right? <clears throat> I'm playing Astrologer, but I am not using the staff very much. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right?
I feel like it's a little funny that like my staff is like level seven and my sword is level ten. I think I crashed. We're getting an awful slow load screen here, so I'm just gonna restart the game. Elden Ring. Hello. End task. There we go. Love it. Love it when you quit out of the game and it just, you know, keeps running in the background. It's great. A little silly, but... Yeah. Game? Game? Hello? OBS? Game? Hey, there we go. There we go. I did it again. Okay, technically I didn't do it because I had to reload. Okay, let's get the flasks done. Okay, good. Well, with a, a couple extra levels, I mean, I don't think that sword's going to do a ton more damage because my strength and dex scat, uh, stats are not good. But I think it'll be... I think it'll be a, a noticeable amount. That was fucking troll, man.
I really wish I could take two hits, but I'm just shy of having enough vigor, man. I'm just shy. Now, I could possibly go kill uh, another avatar and get like, I don't know, 20k runes or something. Hold on, let me see. How much is that? 13. Let me, let me just see. I don't actually know. I don't actually know how many runes that is for doing it, but I want to be able to survive two hits from Rudan. And I think I need, like, uh, probably two more levels in Vigor, I would say. It's a little bit of a ride, but it's that minor archery right there. I know it's kind of a detour, but... I do feel like it is one that is worth making. Because the Erdtree avatars, for the most part, give a... Beastal, uh, Vulgar Militia by the Beastal Sanctum are worth 1k each if you get desperate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might be getting desperate. I, I just want to be able to survive two hits. And I feel like right now I'm only really able to survive one hit. No, no, no! Wrong fucking flask. God damn it. This, this one has so much less health, but it's also worth a lot less runes. One I don't think gives anywhere near as much, but yeah, 9,600, dude. Wow. 
Dude, I got griefed. I got griefed, chat. I got griefed. It's all right. Let me grab a. Let me grab some glove wart from in here. Full grief, dude. Full grief. Brave four. Grave three. I'm assuming there's not a five in here. Is this? Uh, this is the minor herb tree catacombs, I think, in Kaled. I think is what they're called. Okay, there's a grave five. Nice. Alright, I just need a grave two then. that I can get a Grave 2 in Liurnia. Go this way. <clears throat> yeah, I know there's no 2s in there. There's, there's a 2 in Liurnia that I can get. Pretty sure that the the one over here has a lot of twos in it, actually. Well, I just need one, so. I just need one. As soon as I get it, I'm out. I'm out of there, chief. I think I can get a six at the other catacomb in uh, Caleb, though. So we could actually be having these imps up to plus six relatively early. And then I, I don't think I get a seven until uh, a bit later on. I'll probably have to wait until mountaintops to get the seven. Because I'm not going to Volcano Manor or like Mount Gelmir or any of that. I always lose track where the fucking entrance to this place is. has a six. That's the one in like southern Kaled, right? 
Or is that the one in Radon's area? my two. Well, we should be able to take... Oh, shit. I could have sworn the one in Southern Caleb has a six in there, too. It's actually right, it's like right over here, actually. Areza's in Galmir? Mm. Okay, well. All right. Could have sworn that there was a six down here, but that's fine. War Dead is, is pretty easy to get to after young Radon bites the dust. <sighs> Again, I still would like to try to see. I mean, that's at least one level there. You know what I could do is I could go dupe a remembrance, but kind of don't want to do that. I need fourteen five for another one. This is fine. Kind of selling runes a little earlier than I'd like, but honestly, I don't care. I want 30 vigor. I want to be able to survive two hits from Rudan. Yeah, exactly, Menry. That's why I'd rather not. If if I need levels later, I'd rather do per, like the higher value remembrances. Like Radon. I think Radon's 40k. I'd rather dupe that. Because you know, I can I can dupe a lot. And uh, I'd rather save that to make up for the lack of grail in my life <laughs> for this. <laughs> for the lack of grail in my life, I need to fucking, you know. Now, we, we should have enough health to survive two attacks, so... Should be able to survive too now, so. I think we'll be alright. I just don't want to waste the flasks, you know?
Alright, I guess that's still not enough to survive two, ta two attacks, but whatever. Gonna have to carry on, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go to Gelmir because I, it's not technically part of Volcano Manor, but... Uh, no, I mean, it's not really... I can use Torrent if I want to, but... This is far less than ideal, but... So bad at dodging that one. Yeah, exactly, Menry. It's uh It's a tough one to dodge for sure. I think the main issue for me right now is I just don't really have the health to make any mistakes here. I was hoping the extra two points in vigor would have made the difference.
I had dodged at that time. We're not too handling the sword. The the frames on this sword, one-handed versus two-hand, are kind of scuffed, and I feel like it's kind of fucking up my timing. I, I'm kind of going back and forth right now, honestly, to just like see what works better. Like, yeah, I know we're gonna get a little more damage if we power stance the sword, but it just it seems like the the slower. Uh, the slower time is kind of making things a little weird right now. I'll give it a try, though. Also, there seems to be a weird thing with the angle that I'm slashing as well. Jesus Christ, man. So I have that option. <laughs> Just using the damn shield. No! The smash! Yeah, the, the two hand on this is definitely uh, weird. The angle's off, it just, uh, half the time it doesn't hit. I give it like a 3 out of 10. Definitely like a 3 out of 10. We'll get it though, we'll be all right. Gotta get good to prep for the club only. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. The club only. But part of the reason I'm not really keen on bringing the imps into this fight, though, honestly, is that I, I, I do have genuine concerns about... Uh,
whether or not I will be able to dodge in the same way. Club's pretty good. Starts a war cry. Yeah, but the other issue is that I have to do the whole thing naked. I don't get any backup weapons or anything like that. That's what's going to make Retro really tough. I'm going to be starting at level 1 instead of, like, level 10. Which, I mean, I'll make up for that. Uh, I don't know if I can summon them. No, I can't, so I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Fucking does that every time, man. Such a load of garbage. But yeah, I mean, the club itself is actually going to be a decent weapon, but... It's going to be the fact that we have to do it naked and... I may also add the stipulation with the retch run that we don't get a keepsake. Just to make it even that much harder. <clears throat> time never fails I shouldn't have used that, that's fine. No! I really thought he was gonna go to phase two, but I guess he's a little still over 50 cent, uh, percent.
I just want to do RL1 and hitless. What? Well, I don't know about all that, but yeah. You know. Feed a Melania. Finish first playthrough today. Grats. Melania's a tough fight. Very tough fight. Dumb. I could have gotten like five hits there, but I missed all of them. It's unfortunate. the bullshit. Swipe. That's unfortunate. It's kind of my own fault, though. I panicked. Hmm. This fight is actually pretty free if you...
No! Oh, thank God. That's, that attack is so fucking cheap, dude. Yep, every fucking time he does that bullshit, I get clipped by his fucking sword. Have I done champion yet? What are you, what are you referring to? things could be considered champion in this game. class called champion uh, I think it's war there's warrior hero vagabond I haven't done those yet though I did samurai and bandit already and we're on astrologer right now Honestly, I, I didn't think I'd be on Radon for this long. I gotta get with the program here. Should be able to actually get him a little lower than 50% right here. Never mind. Never mind. Fuck. I 
forgot if you're if you're in front of the horse, you get fucking wrecked. Vigor is uh, a bit stressful. Just a little. I don't know why he does that. Nah, I'm not going to respect. I'll be fine. It's so annoying that that one hit from the back does like almost all of my fucking health. I will say. All of this really does kind of go to show just how busted Vigor is as a stat in general. Dude, I wasn't even in front of that. So stupid. Yeah, I'm literally behind his wrists. And the electricity is like way out at the like backside, like or like the tip of his blade, and I get hit by it. It's so fucking dumb, man. All points in vigor, press R1. Yeah. All points in vigor, press R1. That is that is correct. I will say, though, that even at, like, 60 vigor, there's definitely bosses that will not give a fuck about your 60 vigor. 
There's definitely bosses that won't give a shit. Godskin Duo is one of them. You guys know how I feel about Godskin Duo. God damn it, man. I miss it every fucking time. I fucking pulled that, whatever. Fucked, buddy. Not on my watch am I getting stuck on this boss any longer than I already have been. Yeah, we had great RG at the end. Yes, it is true. It is true. We're gonna go all the way to 40 Vigor at this point, I think.
Alright, well, we are allowed to go to Altus now. So let's go. A lot of great things in Altus, you guys. We are going to be able to upgrade our weapons some more. We've got a ton of golden seeds. Looking good, y'all. Looking real good. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop at 40 Vigor and... Um... I feel pretty darn good. about 30 mind. I think 30 mind is like the perfect number. Grab the grace. Might be a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't think I can get back up that way. Here's what we'll do. The minor herd tree is right here, so... Just go ahead and grab the golden seed that's over here. I think I can get up to the rampart from here, so... I'm gonna do that, because there's another seed here. There's a grace as well. Uh, actually, the seed is over here. little further up the hill. Let's go ahead and grab the grace. And then I'll double back.
Let's go grab the other flask, upgrade, and then we'll get all the golden seeds that we need. We should have just about everything because I'm going to be going and getting those golden seeds from the ulcerated tree spirits here pretty soon as well. Probably grab the Ariza Grave uh, Glove Warts as well. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Probably just go ahead and deal with the ulcerated tree spirit that's over here. for starters we'll go ahead and grab the bell bearing so we can upgrade our weapons in the short swords at plus 10 already but we go to plus 12 at this point so no dual tree send on now no I'm good chief I'm good Thanks, but no thanks, if you know what to, you know, catch my drift. I'm thinking around the time that we kill Morgoth is when we're going to start to see... I think it's when we're going to start to see sorcery pull ahead. Compared to my weapon. I mean, we've got B scaling on this staff. So, I mean, I've got to imagine. I 
I've got to imagine that we're going to be in a, in a situation where... You know, it should be pretty straightforward. Go hand in the bell bearing and then figure out what we need. Something along those lines, probably, but we're going to need more runes than that. So I need a total of six and then an additional 12. So that's 18. I need 16 total. 16 total. I don't think this is going to be enough for 16. That no matter. So we're going to go back to the phantom tree. I'm going to go ahead and see about, actually, you know what? Let's, let's do DTS now. And then after DTS, we'll do gold free. And then we'll wrap up by getting the tree spirits before we go to the uh, mountaintop. I've got nine golden seeds plus two tiers, so I can I can definitely get that squared away here soon. I'm gonna head to Oriza's too. Because I need the glove work six for the fang damp ashes. need a six and then I'll get a seven once I get up to Gelmir or not Gelmir um Thank you. 
grave six. <coughs> and I believe the seven and the eight are going to be in the mountaintop of the giants. Frankly, I don't know how much I'm actually going to use the imps because I don't even really think I'm going to need them. But yeah, we should be able to get the 7 and the 8 in the mountaintops. I actually don't know where the 9 is. I don't know if you can get a 9 up there too in the uh, hero's tomb that's up there. Get off there. Seven, eight, nine in the mountaintop catacombs. Cool. All right. That's good. Go kill Goldfree. I'll have to kill DTS the normal way on my wretch playthrough, but everybody else starts with a shield, so. I'm like, you know what? Even though it's kind of a cheese, you do have to know how to parry, so I don't feel that bad about it. I mean, it's not a glitch. It's like a legit kill. It's not like I'm breaking his AI or anything. I'm just literally knocking him off the cliff. the stuff over here. Glove War, super early in Ansel, yeah. Well, I can't go to Ansel River, though. Not in this run, anyway. I mean, frankly, I don't even know how much I'm actually gonna need. The fucking imps. The only reason I really wanted the imps was for Renala. 
and I upgraded them to plus one, and I didn't even need to do that. Like, I, I could have easily gotten away with just putting the imps at, uh, just leaving them at zero. Honestly, all I really needed them for was to fucking break her posture. Like, they didn't take, I don't think they took any damage the entire fight either, so. Like, even if they had been plus zero, it would have, the fight would have looked exactly the same. Super fucked. The problem with this one is that the the road is so narrow. Did anybody else get uh, hardcore Anor Londo vibes when you first set foot into the city in your first playthrough? I mean, this is basically the Elden Ring of Andor, uh, or the uh, the Elden Ring equivalent of Andor Orlando. City of the Gads, dude. Uh, this is a top three game. Oh, shit. I do not like where I'm at right now. City of the Gads, dude. City of the Gads. I like going up here to grab these runes. It's like an extra 50k or something like that just for a couple minutes detour.
city of the gods. You'll kill Goldfree and then we'll go to the th four ulcerated tree spirits and get my seeds from them. And I think after that we should be in pretty solid shape. Ow. I'm hoping that we don't have as many issues with the foreskin duo in this playthrough. So. Yeah, I'd say that this game is up there in my top five for sure. the sword for this as well it doesn't hit as hard but this easy damage I actually don't want him in a corner.
Let me get my two levels in vigor and then I'll put the rest, start pumping into intelligence. I think this is, uh, after we get the Morgot kill here, I think this is going to start to be where intelligence pulls ahead. You know, we're going to, when we, when we have like the plus 18 sore or the plus 18 fucking. Thing, you know. The staff. Kill Morgoth. Honestly, I'm, just, I'm probably just like, in general, not going to use the imps unless I feel like I really need to use the imps. feel pretty good about these fights. didn't think about was I don't have any FP flasks. I need FP. Need FP dog. I think if I don't miss too much, we should be all right. Got my 40 vigor, 30 mine looks good. That's fucking dumb, dude. He was like perfect. He had perfectly boxed me in. There's nothing I could do. Highly, highly un.
Pebble is hitting harder than the sword is now. But my curse. No! Damn it! Panic rolled. Stained by my curse. Such shame I cannot bear. He basically pooped himself. on the throne.
Turning around. Should survive, but it's gonna it's gonna hurt a little bit. Got him. No imps needed. <laughs> Got the cheese, dude. We got the cheese. Twenty-seven int. Well, we're gonna need closer to like forty int, dog. But yeah, now figure something out. <clears throat> need gold seeds and all that too. So we're just gonna have to. Let's talk to uh, Melina. Allow me, you are unprevented. The thorns are husk, the only way, and become my purpose. So I'd like to the flame then and guide. I'm gonna go to the table. Obviously, I still need to like get to the point where I can upgrade my weapons and all that stuff, but. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just lay out. I'm gonna sell the big stuff. Cause this should be enough for like eight levels, I think. Nine levels, even better. I wanna go back to the stranded graveyard because I want to get my I wanna get my golden seeds now. We have four seeds that we need to get. Did I, did I kill this one? I don't remember now, hold on. I don't remember if I killed, maybe I think I did kill this one cause I'm not locked into the, I'm not locked into the thing anymore. Yeah, I think I did. 
Yeah. Oops. Well, ignore that. <laughs> ignore that part, y'all. All right. Um. What side chamber? I forgot I killed that one. Couldn't remember if I was like, yeah, let's come back later, or if I was like, oh shit, we got it. <laughs> Couldn't remember. This one is here. Oh. Pretty bad at dodging that attack. Oh. 
but it's fine. We got what we were looking for. Alright, Avenue Balcony. Here. Gotta go down the stairs first. All right, uh, cool. So I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna double back to the Avenue Balcony. Uh, that way we can head towards the mountaintop. Now there is something I need to look at because I'm still missing five seeds I know that there are three in the mountaintops I'm trying to remember where the other two are that I got to make the 14 I don't remember. Because I know I did the four ulcerated tree spirits.
Oh, uh, you know what? It was the snow field. That's where I got the golden seeds from. I went to the snow field. Yeah, I need uh, five more seeds. I know that there are three of them in the mountaintops. There's one more in the snow field. And the last one, I honestly don't remember where I got it from, but I don't reckon it'd be too much trouble to find it. For a level yeah. point into int uh, intelligence, I guess. Sorry, give me a quick second. Let's put a point into intelligence. Determined to finish the Astrologer playthrough today. I'm not gonna kill the Black Blade Kindred. I know I did on my dagger playthrough, but I'm not gonna do it on this one. literally see the whole snow field from here including that fucking mausoleum
Alright, I don't actually remember. I don't actually remember which catacomb. There's two catacombs here, if I remember right. I don't remember which one has the glove wart that I'm looking for, but... I'm pretty sure it is this one. fucking levels to this shit. Where's the glove work? Damn it. I haven't seen a single one. Not a single one. Wow. Well, there's a seven. I don't have any intent of killing the boss. I just want to find the other glove ward. Found the seven. I need the eight and the nine.
There's the eight. Ah, I think that was it right there, too. There's a stake here. That's nice. How kind of them. Still an eight. I was hoping stepping on that trap would get those ones off my tail, but I guess not. Hell's the nine, man. I actually think I know where it is, but I gotta go get my runes back. Okay, just gone. Gone forever. God damn it, dude. What a fucking asswipe. Whatever. Fuck you too, buddy. Level 59 right now. This is okay. There's only one level's worth. So, there is another... Actually, how many runes does this drop? Because I might be able to recover my 45k if I kill this box. Is this the double crucible knight? No, it's another spirit. I'm not killing this fucking thing. Good. Good on that.
This whole thing's gonna be mixed up here in a second. And I'm pretty sure that the nine is when you drop down this ledge, there's like this part. I'm pretty sure that there's a side that's an eight Let's say the nine is past this one. Is it? Shit is around here somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. I don't remember if I took this elevator up last time. time. Well, since I'm no longer concerned about how many fucking runes I have, let's just get the fuck out of here. How about that? I'll probably use the imps for fire giant just because I don't really feel like chipping away at this that, as his fucking health a hundred fucking damage at a time I'll make sure to grab the grace up here.
So we'll take this grace. So, I'm not expecting to need much over here at all, but I'm going to grab the grace so I don't have to come back later and like ride all the way back like I did in my last playthrough. Stat wise, we're looking pretty good. Oh. Excuse me. 36 intelligence. I mean, that could be higher. I'd like to have that at 60 by the time. By the time we near the end of this thing, but. Uh, 24 levels. I feel like that could happen. Guess I can take this grace. I guess. I'm getting tired. I've been up since like wee hours of the morning. I didn't stream right away though because uh, I had to wait till the pharmacy opened so I could go get some medicine for my son. He had a reaction to the amoxicillin that they prescribed him after he got diagnosed with strep. And, um, unfortunately, I had to, uh, get him on something else. Yeah, it sucked. He was like broken out and stuff and not feeling good, but he should be better in a couple days, I think. I mean, we've all been pretty sick. Admittedly. But, uh... It's 
just like a, a you know, when you have kids in school. Parents love sending their kids to school when they're sick. So shit spreads around like fucking wildfire. We don't send our kids school, to school when they're sick, but a lot of other parents do. And it makes me and my fiance very, very mad. Like if your kid is throwing up, complaining of a sore throat, headache, don't send them to school. It's literally that simple, man. Literally that simple. But no, that's too much for people. Oh no, God forbid. God forbid that kid misses a day of school. Upgrading the imps. Need like forty something hundred. Make it seventy five. I'll get a great grave glove wart when I get to Faramazula. There's one just chilling. I think I'm going to save the imps for phase two. Otherwise, they're probably just going to be playing chase for however fucking long.
Right. Yeah, my fucking imps just got completely fucking bodied. That's why I didn't want to...
might take a little while, chat. Well, never mind, I'm dead. I do need to upgrade my weapons. In addition to not wasting the imps in phase one. I got 40,000 runes here. Not making up for the fucking shit I lost, but it's fine. It's fine. I think I'm going to upgrade the staff. I feel like that's definitely the better choice. Back my matter. Even have two sevens right now as well. And I could get even more sevens if I really wanted to. There's definitely options on that. Like first church has three and then I can get another three. I lost 40k runes earlier, which would have paid for all of my fucking upgrades, but. I think I lost like 5k on fire jump though. Too bad. I can hit up the subterranean shining grounds real quick too and get the sevens. going jeez dude Grab the golden seed over here. I feel like I didn't, but maybe I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Definitely don't remember doing it, but okay. I'm also tired of shit, so I'm sure that's part of it. So I'm at three here. Good to know. balcony you know what seeds I'm missing I know exactly what seeds I'm missing for the five there were two in the capital that I forgot about because I didn't go up here I took a weird ass fucking direction I can get another flask, that's the only reason that I bring that up. 
I was like, where the hell are these two seeds? Got him, dude. Very nice. So, feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to head to the. Oh, I'm going to head to the Avenue Balcony. We're going to go to the Shining Grounds. Grab the Sevens. Just to beef up a little bit more. I don't need much. go to is the crayfish uh, spot because I know there's a shitload of them over there there's four I think got all of our flasks and we should be able to get the staff up quite a bit we're at plus 19 right now we should be able to go 21 alright let's get back in there I'm still not expecting much of the imps in this fight because he just rolls all over the place in phase two and they probably won't get much of an opportunity to do damage, but I think Glintstone Pebble is going to hit pretty hard. Pretty sure.
least two sidestep. I didn't have to be the one to do it. to use Glenstone Arc here because I don't know.
was close. That was close. have to tough it out. Oh, I fucked up. I just literally let go of buttons. That's cool. got like maybe 500 HP if that there it is that took a little longer than I wanted but it's fine I am prayerful that the godskin duo will be an easy fight I think I could probably get at least a 40 dex. At the very least. Honestly, my magic damage is not bad. It's really not bad. <clears throat> yeah, 30 mind I think is still pretty good. I would have liked somewhere closer to 40. I think we'll probably be alright. I have long this world and death are you to commit very well let my hand lick my hand All right. Made it to Farum Azula. Let's go.
Wow, that guy just literally didn't notice me. It's funny. Oh! Oh! Ha! Oh. That was close. That was very close. I keep thinking that that's a smithing stone. It is not. Um, ow. That wasn't very nice. Alright, so... Up here is where I can actually get my Grave Glove Wart. That is going to put me where I need to be. Also, before I just, you know, lose 200k runes, maybe I should, you know, pump some points first before I do something really fucking dumb. Is. Goodbye. Oh shit, hello. <laughs> well, you know, that could have been worse. <laughs> could have been a lot worse, Chief. Let's go get the imps to 10. Take a look at Don't worry. I'll continue. Which is why I his roots, he won't lack his shackle is high time. Alright, we should keyword should be gaming on the fucking foreskin duo this time around. We should be gaming. As always, I am going to grab the grace here, but... Well, 78... As long as these imps do their fucking job. I don't think we'll have too many troubles at all. You guys have a little higher magic resistance than I was hoping. But I think it's manageable.
I'm gonna probably need more FP flasks. I have an idea. exactly what I was hoping for here, but... Just uh, honestly, oh yeah, man, it, it was it was really bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually swap out for like two more flasks. I think I think nine and five is good. I kind of want more mine, but.
here. Yep. This fight is going a lot better as Astrologer than it was in my last two runs. And my imps are still alive. They're fucking gaming. Well, not all of them. They're still have one alive. So much better than the last two runs. God damn. So much better. Huh. Man, the last two runs. Honestly, I will say. The Samurai run wasn't bad. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on. to upgrade the sword actually for Radigan. Um, 12 to 18. Spending most of my shit here, but you know, it's fine. Oh no. Weren't you listening? As I've always you came to challenge the demigods and them. And as long as you do, it is what I wish. To smith a Alter, and we're gonna kill Malakath. I still want that 24 sword because I am pretty sure that Radigan is gonna give me some trouble. I probably still use some magic on Elden Beast, but I'm probably gonna need that 24 for Radigan. S tier scaling on sorcery. Let's go. Level are we? 78? Okay. Not super high level, but yeah, no. Looking good, chief. I'd say we have just about the right amount of mind. I, I would like to have some more mind levels, if I'm being honest, but not much we can do there, to be honest. Yeah, the Astrologer's Staff is just such a great weapon, dude. Like, 
plus 25 237 sorcery scaling like oh shit, dude that's actually insane scaling for a weapon that you literally start with i think the only thing that even remotely comes close to it is the meteor staff but the only thing that it doesn't have to really make it over the top is a an effect that like helps boost your stuff Oh. Oh. Cool. I got gangbang. I got the gangbang, chief. For a confessor build uh are you asking if i know what i'm doing when i get around to playing confessor uh probably i'm kind of going in order from what i think is going to be the easiest to the hardest but I'm starting to realize that astrologer was probably the easiest followed by samurai even though i did samurai first but I don't know, I'd say they're pretty close. My playtime is longer on Astrologer. too much trouble with Malika. Yeah, my playtime is definitely longer on Astrologer, but I honestly think the only reason that that's the case is because I got stuck on Radon for like maybe an hour because I didn't have enough health. That's gotta be the thing that when I get off of the caster builds, that's gotta be the thing that I focus on. Honestly, like as long as I can take a hit, I think we'll pretty well be fine. And funny enough, the Astrologer stuff gives me, like, no defense. Very, very minimal defense against much of anything. It does give me some good magical defense, but aside from that, they're pretty shit. Yeah, Dave, we're doing a lot better on this run than we were.
I'm gonna drink now. This is okay. I need him to be kind of chill. Drink. Need the Dougie. too fucking greedy there. Jeez. Yeah, that was super close. I almost got body dude. All right, we're moving on. Maybe Gideon will be, uh, you know. Maybe Gideon will be nice, you know. So we got three bosses left. I'm honestly feeling pretty good about my choices here. Um... I'm probably going to bring the imps out for Gideon because I know that he has a tendency to just, like, be a troll. I've been, I've been trying to, like, pick and choose when I use the imps. Like, I, I'm allowed to use them for every fight if I want to, but sometimes I'm just choosing not to because I don't want it to be too easy, you know? And the imps kind of fuck. If I'm being honest, they 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 fuck pretty hard. Like it's actually pretty cracked how good the imps are for a keepsake. Like they're they're definitely better than the talisman for sure. Ah, I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring. What a sad state of affairs. None shall take the throne. Get fucked, Gideon. Doing shit to my ex, man. Get wrecked. Yeah, for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, Astrologer is definitely the easiest of the three I've done so far. I didn't even think about it, honestly. You know, the other part of it, too, is like ranged classes just do really well versus bosses. I do think Radigan might be a bit of a challenge. But so far, I would actually say the hardest boss of this playthrough has been Radon. And honestly, that could have been avoided 
Like, that, that easily could have been avoided. Had I just, like... Not... Done stupid shit. I should have allocated less points into mind, frankly. That's that is absolutely what I should have done. And I didn't do that. Alright, we should be like level 92, maybe 93. When this is all said and done. Dumb. I don't know why I did that. Trying to, trying to focus up here. Been streaming for 11 hours. Trying to keep the uh, the focus going. We should be getting the Horalu phase here shortly. Nice. Nice.
Oh yeah. Tarnished. Oh Our yeah. Strength befits a crown. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That fight's pretty free. I wanted to sword and board it a little bit in the beginning because I'm like, man, if I just literally keep kiting him and shooting the fucking magic, it's going to be a boring ass fight, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I came here. Okay, well. Alright, 58 int is pretty damn good. I can actually get 50 now. Let's get smithy. Alright, yeah. I mean, this is a good level. We're, we're basically hard capped on int. I'm one level short, and I would have had that level if it wasn't for that stupid level I lost. The stupid level that I lost. I'm probably going to use imps on Radigan. To keep him distracted so I can help him with the fucking pebbles. Say, not a huge fan of the imps on the Radigan fight. I don't like the way he's changing directions on me. I'm gonna let him kill me. I'm not gonna use the imps. I don't like it. Frankly, I don't like it. Too distracting. Yeah, they lasted a while. Yeah, I mean, they actually have quite a bit of health at plus 10, so. I may summon them on Elden Beast.
This is going about the same as I'd say it was going with uh, the dagger. Maybe a little less damage though. Timing too. Now. I actually have decent magic resist. I don't want to use this many fucking flasks, but... Bullshit. I do not like this little amount of health going into Elden Beast. Try to see how well Pebble works on this boss. Not bad. Now, 
these imps are gonna get fucked. Dead. <laughs> Honestly, the fucking Blintstone couple's doing shit. Probably dead. stars. I'm definitely dead. Probably Nebula here. No, I rolled early. Fuck. I fucked up big time. That was my bad. Radigan really fucked me up. I'm going to actually give myself some more health flasks because I'm not going to lie. The magic damage is actually fucking trash. For how slow it is. Why not try Arc instead of Pebble? Because Arc doesn't do as quick of a cast. And it does the same damage. Takes longer, does the same damage, and I'm pretty sure it costs more FP too. Arc is mostly for roll catching. Doesn't really do much outside of that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's fully leveled, but you got to keep in mind that 
it's, it has very poor scaling, and I'm an astrologer, so it, I'm not scaling with int right now. It's scaling with strength and dex, which I have fucking none of right now. How did that miss? Or how did that? Yeah, I'm very surprised that missed. That one was kind of bullshit. Now I haven't done Warrior yet. I've only done Bandit and Samurai, and then obviously Astrologer. Bullshit. Die, I die. Sucks. I have even less flasks than I had last time.
Oh, yo, the imps got wrecked. Jeez. Goodbye, imps. Nice knowing you. <laughs> That's hard to dodge. That one's not hard to dodge. going okay. Going all in. All in on the fucking nebula, chief. Nice. Didn't even need that astrologer bill. We could have just fucking meleeed that shit. 
Run three complete. Only seven to go. G. G. This one was the easiest one by far. Like, I, I know it took me longer than the samurai run, but this one was way easier. The only reason it took me longer, I feel like, was probably because I was tired. But that honestly wasn't bad. Like, you can beat Elden Beast with a dog shit weapon. Straight up, you can beat Elden Beast with a dog shit weapon. You just gotta be patient, honestly. Even if you're only hitting for like 100 damage a swing, you'd actually be surprised how quickly it chips the health down. Because you get to combo so much during the fight that even on 100 a swing, you can usually get two to three full combos every time you punish. So you're getting like 1,500 damage a lot of the time on that stuff, and it ends up being just all around really fucking good. Um, I, I am gonna. I, I think I'm gonna do profit next. I think when we start out the stream tomorrow, we're gonna go for uh, profit. I think catch flame will make things a little more interesting. The fallen leaves. I think fire giant is definitely story. gonna be of how a bit more challenging, so to speak. But Elden Lord in our home. Across the fog, the lands between. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we actually like that. That was pretty good, honestly. Our sea will look back upon us and recall an age, an age of fracture. Hell yeah, they're gonna look back. Hell yeah, chief. Yeah, GG's. Great run. Honestly, Astrologer, I probably should have done Astrologer first. If I'm being real, but you know what? It's fine. I will say I'm also getting a lot better at the fights, too. That's, I think, something that is very easy to uh, overlook. Is that having done three of these runs in the last two days... I think it's fair to say that I'm getting a lot better at the fights in addition to uh, you know just astrologer being easy I will also say though that the imps oh dude I feel like the imps kind of make this challenge run kind of cheese though I will say it does kind of make this challenge a bit cheese. The imps, the imps just, they fuck, man. They do. It's, it's that, uh. I, I think what I'm gonna do for the, uh, For the other ones, I don't know if I'm gonna do the imp bashes, you guys. Like, I, I don't know, I just felt like it was a bit cheese. That said, I mean... That said, I don't know. The only fight where I feel like the imps were really fucking good was Renala. I will say that much. Like, I do think that they worked really well on Gideon, too. But aside from that, I on like I mean I didn't use them that much. I mean I used them on Fire Giant, but they were dog shit on Fire Giant. I, I got no value out of it on Fire Giant. Uh, I I don't really think that they helped me on Godskin Duo. If I'm being honest, too, like I think I got maybe one bleed proc on the the attempt where I killed it. But I would have gotten the damage off anyway just by kiting. You know, I mean I I don't feel like they added a ton of value to the Astrologer build. But I will say that with a build that's like melee heavy, they're probably a bit busted. 
So, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use them anymore. I feel like they are a bit cheesy. I mean, what fights did I actually use them in, right? I used them in Renala. I think I used them on Margit just for fucking memes, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I wouldn't have even needed them on Margit. I, I think I used them on Margit. I used them... I did use them on Godric, but they died, like, almost instantly. I did use them on Red Wolf of Radigan. And they did okay, I guess. But I honestly think where they really did well was on Renala and on Gideon. I think those were the only two fights where I probably would have struggled a bit had I not had the, the Imp Ashes. So, I don't know that I'll do the Imp Ashes again. I, I, I do feel like it kind of made the run a bit too easy. So, I'll probably go back to taking the Health Talisman. Kept the wolf occupied? Yeah, a little bit. I could have meleeed the wolf, though, and it would have been not a problem at all because I was already going for a melee build as Astrologer anyway. I only really... I would actually say the cool thing about the Astrologer run, though, is that I actually got to use a mix of, like, spells and melee. Like, Fire Giant, I was more spell-focused, but I, I meleeed him a little bit. Obviously, uh... Radigan and Elden Beast was melee heavy. Most of the beginning of the run was melee heavy, except for, like, I, I did get to use spells in Limgrave. But I was pretty much all melee in Leonia. Radon, I did a little bit of a mix, but mostly melee. I actually felt like Astrologer. I, I got to actually use both, which was really cool. And, and I will say, too, though, I, I in the Bandit and... Samurai run. I did get to use the bow in those runs as well, but I only really got value out of the bow in the end game. The bow was kind of trash in the beginning of the game, and I honestly felt like I just didn't really need it until Godskin Duo, so... I would definitely say that Astrologer was the easiest, though, and Bandit has been the hardest. But I'm gonna do Profit tomorrow, and I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Profit because I feel like Catch Flame is gonna be pretty strong. But at the same time, I also feel like uh, the spear is also going to be good too. The range on the spear is a lot better than the, the dagger range. It's a lot better. I, I'd say it's about on par with the Uchi, but we're not going to get the bleed, right? We still get a shield. I think Prophet is going to be... I think Prophet is going to be pretty easy too. I'm actually half expecting most of these builds to be pretty easy now that I don't have to, like... Uh, you know, I don't have to, like, split myself. I can I can actually, like... The starter weapons for some of the classes that we're, we have coming up... They have really good scaling. I think the hero's axe starts out with, like, C scaling on the... On, on strength. I think... And I'm pretty sure that Vagabonds got good scaling on their weapons. Like, the weapon scaling is going to be a lot better, for sure. So even though we're not going to have bleed, we will have better weapon scaling overall. And poise damage. And range. That's honestly what made the dagger run so hard, was the range on the dagger was so fucking bad, man. It was so bad. But it was nice having the sword range as Astrologer. I thought that sword was actually pretty good, even though the scaling was trash. Confessor would be pretty cake too. The gear's good. Yeah, I mean, they have good gear, but I don't think there's anything particularly special about anything that they have. Like, it's like all around decent, but like you don't have bleed. You don't have, you know, you don't have anything like crazy good, you know? It's, I would say it's like average gear. I would say Vagabond is better. Vagabond will actually probably be easier, in my opinion. I don't know. I, if I had to guess, I'd say... I may do... I'm going to try to do Prophet and Prisoner tomorrow, because I feel like those two are still going to be pretty easy. I don't know what Prisoner starts with spell-wise, though. I know that they do start with a spell, though. I think it's like the Spook equivalent. 
And I, I don't know that it's any good, actually. <laughs> so prisoner, but they get a rapier, which has pretty good range. But yeah, I think we'll do profit and prisoner tomorrow. And then we'll probably save some of the more like super melee heavy stuff for uh, for the following day. They have magic glint blade. Hmm. Okay, that could be interesting. That could be very very interesting. Well, we will probably be getting into that tomorrow. <laughs> But uh, that is going to do it for me today, you guys. I am very fucking tired. But it's been a good stream, guys. I'm going to try to be up a little earlier tomorrow for the stream. I'll probably try to get up about 6 or 7, hopefully. I've been up since the crack of dawn this morning, and then obviously I've stayed up... Uh, stayed up a little past my bedtime because I wanted to get this done, so... But yeah, GG's. I am uh, I'm looking forward to two more runs tomorrow. And after tomorrow, we'll be halfway done. <laughs>